I'm Artifacts of Mars. And here we have an article, USA Today. So you may already know, supposedly they found three planets. They said they're Earth-like planets orbiting 40 light years away. Now, there's a problem with this story, which I'm going to get to. Three planets orbit an ultra-cool dwarf star just 40 light years from Earth, or some 240 trillion miles away in astronomical terms. That's pretty close considering our own Milky Way galaxy spans 100,000 light years. All very fine and good. So they take a look at this dwarf star and they find three planets. Here's where it gets uh, confusing though. Uh, it says so far the existence of such red worlds orbiting ultra cool dwarf stars was purely theoretical, but now we have not just one lonely planet around such a faint red star, but a complete system of three. But here's where it gets confusing. Right here in this paragra paragraph, they say something which makes no sense whatsoever. The sizes and temperatures of these worlds are similar to those of Earth and Venus. Dun, 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 dun. And hold the best promise yet from the search of life outside of the solar system. All three planets have regions with temperatures that are within a suitable range for sustaining liquid water and life. According to the report published Monday in the British journal Nature. Now here's the problem. Uh, Venus is completely unlike the Earth. In that... How can I put this? See, I'm going to bring up the graphic of uh, Venus. This is what I've always been taught. The atmosphere of Venus is layer gases surrounding Venus. It's pr composed primarily of carbon dioxide and it's much denser and hotter than that of the Earth. The temperature at the surface of Venus is, 700, is 872 Fahrenheit and the pressure is 93 bar, 9.3 MPA, whatever that is. Uh, So, they're saying that, let me go back to this, they're saying that the sizes and temperatures of these worlds are similar to that of Earth and Venus. Now, I'm quite certain that the uh, temperature on the surface of the Earth isn't uh, 872 degrees. That just won't work. We would fry. And the pressure isn't... You know, 93 bar or whatever. So what's going on here? This is what's confusing me. On one hand, they say it's like Earth. On the other hand, they also say they're like Venus. They're, both can't be right. Unless they're giving us a line of BS somehow, and they're just admitting that Venus is much more like Earth than what they've let on. You know, this is what I've always been taught, is that Venus was similar physically, as in the gravity, but the temperature and pressure were so great that, plus they have sulfuric acid in the clouds, let's say you uh, were able to get through that and you landed, your spacecraft would be crushed, or burn up, one of the two. I think it's hot enough to melt lead, if I'm not mistaken. So, what, which is it? Uh, uh, cowboy calls this sucking and jiving. I mean, to redneck, they're doing what as long as sucking and jiving us.
I don't know how else you want to put it. They're giving us a line of BS as one of the amounts to. That's the way I'm looking at it. With no apologies. Um, something isn't right here. Because you can't sit here and say they're like Venus if they're like the Earth or vice versa. Two just don't go together. I mean, you know, the highest temperature on Earth has been in probably Death Valley and probably like 150, 160 degrees. I'd have to look it up. And Venus, of course, is so hot that your spaceship would melt if it wasn't crushed first. And even if you had some special suit that could withstand the pressure, which there isn't one that exists, but even if you did, you wouldn't be able to move because the air would be so thick, it'd be like walking in molasses or something. I mean, you just wouldn't be able to move. So we got some kind of problem here. Somebody's giving us a line of BS, and I'm not sure exactly who or why. Other than this article is a very, very confusing thing. So, what do you think? Are they like, I mean, which is it? Are they like Earth, or are they like Venus? They can't be both. They're like Venus, and they're not habitable. I mean, if they're as Venus, you may as well forget it. If they're like Earth, then they'd be habitable. And they didn't say anything about the atmosphere of these because they don't know. There's some BSing going on here. It just does not make any sense what we we're told. I'm sorry. If that upsets people, well, it's true. They're saying that these worlds are like Mars and like Venus. Uh, I mean, like the Earth and like Venus, and that just makes no sense. Uh, maybe if you can explain this to me. I'm willing to entertain theories that they've been lying about Venus all along, and it's a lot cooler than what they've told us. It's the only thing I can think of, and with an atmosphere that's friendly to us. That's about the only thing I can think, or the person who wrote the article is an idiot, one of the two. Can't be like Venus if they're like Earth, and it can't be like Earth if they're like Venus, unless something is, unless, like I said, they've been giving us a ration and Venus is a lot cooler than what we've been told. It's the only thing I can think of, really. A lot cooler and with a much better atmosphere. I don't know. This is Artifacts of Mars signing off.